All right, welcome to the unboxing video of the Arcos Caddy Smart Centers. Been seeing these for a while. I was thinking about getting something like this to uh, you know, track my distances and stuff like that. So I'll really know how far I do hit the ball on average. You know, I know how far I hit it max and kind of uh, half swing, but really want to make better decisions on my club tracking, my club choice, stuff like that. So this is the box you can see here, this is a Amazon warehouse deals inspected. So it's pre-opened. So we won't go into what I paid for it. Not sure if Arcos wants me disclosing that. Uh, how cheaply you can actually get this. So let's get right into it. Looks like the easiest way to open it is from the bottom. I think. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't expect much in here. Just 14 sensors. Oh, this display is pretty cool. Comes with an instruction booklet. And from what I've seen, these are the regular sensors here. They're green. And the black one is the putter sensor. So let's put one on, see what it takes. I'm gonna put one on my driver. I kind of bashed up TaylorMade M3, but I love it. So, you just take the sensor and stick it in that little small hole there. Screw it in. I guess it does kind of look a little funny on these oversized grips. Let's see if we can pair it. I've already downloaded the app. Here's the app. I bought the Arcos Caddy, purchasers of Arcos Smart Sensors or Smart Grips. Smart Sensors. Attach sensors. Our sensor is black. Others are green. Peel off the sticker. Keep clubs in bag. Got it. Continue to pairing. I'm going to pair my driver. One club. This is the sensor I have here. All right, so here's where the problem begins. It takes me to the settings for the app where you see allow uh, the app to use the microphone, location, Siri, and stuff like that. But there's no setting in there for allowing the app to use the camera. And on the newer Arcos 360, I don't know if it's the software version or the hardware version, requires access to the camera to set it up. To, uh, to pair them. So I messed around and messed around and messed around and couldn't figure it out. I sent an email to Arcos support. It's after hours. Uh, I called and it's after hours so I couldn't get anything. was about to give up on it and I thought hey you know uh, when in doubt restart. 
so I restarted my phone guess what it worked so if you're having a problem that's your solution uh, some details here I'm using an iPhone 10 software version 13 1 13.1.3 so it may be an issue with the latest software update not sure but I did reply all on the email that I sent to Arcos letting them know that I restarted my phone fixed the problem and not to worry about it so well, there you go now on to the actual pairing process all right so I was having problems pairing my clubs it was telling me in the instructions that it needed access to my camera however in the Arcos app under settings there was no option to allow access to the camera I sent an email to Arcos but it's after hours uh, so I can't call and I just had a thought that maybe I should restart my phone I restarted my phone and bam there it is so we're in good shape now should be ready to pair so I have the Arcos Caddy 360 selected continue I have the smart sensors it's telling me to attach the sensors I've attached a couple of them but I'll just show you here how it's done there's nothing to it I'm screwed out of the box this is my three hybrid zoom out Putting out a hole there. Screw it in. It might take a little bit of pressure. But that's good. It's not going to pop out. You don't have to get it too tight because you don't want to strip the threads on it. And there's the sticker you're going to peel off. Can you see that? A microphone in there all right so you're supposed to have them in your bag I just have a prop up against the counter here which is fine now let's get to pairing so I've attached the sensors I've peeled off the sticker the clubs are quote unquote in my bag continue to pairing I'm gonna pair my driver, my three wood. Here I'm gonna select hybrids. I'm gonna select my three hybrid and four hybrid. And I'm gonna select my putter. The reason these are the only ones I'm gonna do right now is because I've got new irons on the way, a five through pitching wedge. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the extra sensors. I gotta figure out which wedges I'm gonna use because I have more than 14 clubs in my bag. So we're gonna continue with five clubs. I select all the clubs I want to pair. Yep. Arcos Smart Sensor, Arcos 360. Now you gotta have put the camera on the sensor. Come on. There it goes. All right, so it paired my driver. Let's do the three wood. Oh, I forgot to select that. Use selection for all clubs. Now it says select sensor for three wood. Boom. sensor is facing down, point camera, camera at your three hybrid, read that, all right, back in the quote unquote bag, 
I need to put a sensor in my floor hybrid. Okay, just screw it out of the box. Put it in the hole. Screw it in. And take the sticker off and just find the end. Got it on. Boom. Back in the bag. Now for putter, I have the all black one. Boom. Pairing complete. You've paired five clubs. All right. So, that yeah, was kind of cool. Well, I thought I was done, but there's more. Let's personalize your Arcos experience. Let's do that, okay? Shall we? Get started. Collect. Select your club details for your driver, right? Brand. It's tailor made. It's an M3. I don't think it's a 440. I'm 460, so just gonna select M3. Cool. Next. Cool. This is a tailor made. This is a RBZ. It's an RBZ black. Because it's white. See? Hmm. It's beat up. It has two to use, but I love this thing. So I'm going to go with RBZ Pro. Next. My behind hybrid is. Tell me that when I play, I need to have the phone in my front pocket. Eh, it might be kind of weird, but all right. Put the clubs upside down and keep them in sleep mode. Mulligan's multiple shots taken from the same location will be omitted and only recorded as one shot. Address putts. Putts taken while walking might not be recorded. Be sure to purposely address all putts. Download maps. And begin. All right. So that's it. Looking forward to using it. I might be able to get on the golf course tomorrow. I don't know. But like I said, look for my review of these in play as well as my tailor-made M2 irons. All right. <laughs> Thanks. And hopefully it'll help you in some way. Uh, but if you're having the same issue I'm having, I'm on an iPhone X software version 13.1.3. I'm assuming that the issue was related to the recent software upgrade and I did make Arcos aware of it so hopefully they'll you know work that out or just let people know they need to restart their phone come back to my channel like and subscribe hit the notification bell I'll be doing a review on these as well as my new well new to me TaylorMade M2 irons all right thanks bye there you have it the unboxing the setup the pairing the trouble with the iPhone and the resolution for the Arcos 360 Smart Caddy. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This was my first unboxing video. It was my first setup video. It was my first troubleshooting video, but it's not my first video. If you're watching this, you're probably into golf and I've got, I don't know how many videos I have now, maybe around 20 on my channel. It's mainly me and other friends who are at varying levels of playing golf. I suck. I suck at golf, but I'm trying to get better and I'm getting there. I just have those blow up holes that just oh, make me so mad. Anyway, so uh, keep an eye on this channel. Hit like if you like the video. Please hit subscribe. I can use the subscribers and hit the notification bell so you'll know when there's a new video. Like I said, I'm going to put these to work. I'm going to post a review as well as my 
tailor-made M2 drivers that should be coming in, not drivers, M2 irons that should be coming in the mail tomorrow. So I hope to have something like that up probably late next week. I still have another uh, nine holes of a par three course I got to get up as well. So thanks for tuning in. Please hit like, hit subscribe, and...